Hi, in this video, we will see how you can set up a takeoff on the Beam AI automated takeoff platform. So once you log in, this is the home screen that you will land on. To set up a takeoff uh, just takes two minutes of your time. Uh, very simple three steps. Step one is to give a title uh, to uh, the project. Uh, you need to type in the title to the project in this uh, text box right here. So I'm just going to give it a dummy title and then you hit enter. So that's your first step, giving a title to the job. The second step is to um, click on this button that says drag and drop your files here or click to choose files. So you need to click on this button and upload uh, the PDF files of your plans um, from your big package. You can upload multiple files. So you, if you have architecturals, uh, that can help with ascertaining the height of the vertical risers. You can upload those files as well. Um, you can also upload uh, separate files that have the specs on them. The AI is able to look at multiple files in parallel and, and ex extract information from them. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just pull up um, um, a random Excel, uh, a PDF file. I'm going to upload it. Uh, to demonstrate the process. So I just loaded it and you can see it's been added. Once you see that added, you can add, I mean, you can add multiple files in there, no problem, uh, just like that. And then that's step two. Third and the last step is to type in your scope of work in this box. Uh, now, this is where uh, you specify exactly what you want the software to take off for you. Examples of a few prompts would be in, um, it's, it's, it's how, think of this, um, like how you would give an instruction to your junior estimator if you wanted them to do a takeoff for you. So you type in instruction in plain English, as simple as that. So for example, take off all duct work on sheets M1 to M7, right? So you can be that specific or you can be take off all the duct work, all the duct work and break it down by the building let's say you uh, you want to break you want it broken down by building or by zones so you can you can be very specific or you can be very generic uh, for example take off all the um, if you want to do some piping so take off all the piping quantities along with all the fixtures so that's how you can do it. Or you can be, I mean, even if you just type in, uh, do a mechanical takeoff, uh, that's, that should be good enough. And if you want to understand what mechanical takeoff means, you can just look at this scope item on the right hand side. So if you read this mechanical and HVAC, this is what the software understands. Um, these are the uh, sample scope of uh, items in the sample scope of work that the uh, software will pick up for you. Right. So you can you can read through the list, uh, but setting up a takeoff is 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 that's that's pretty much it. Um, you can uh, you, you can uh, provide the prompt in there. And then if you have a, any assumption that you like the software to make when it's setting up a takeoff, for example, uh, let's say there are no vertical riser diagrams available. Let's say there are no architecturals. In that case, you can uh, ask the software to, you know, assume floor to floor height to be, you know, uh, you know, 12 feet. So you can specify any sort of assumptions like this in this box. And then the AI will use that information to uh, estimate the height of the verticals. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all it takes. Then you hit the submit button at the bottom right of the screen. And then uh, the software starts to do the takeoff for you. Uh, and then once the takeoff is complete, after all the quality checks, you will get an email notification uh, that the takeoff is complete and then you will be able to go ahead and review it. So, so that's how you set up a takeoff. Um, in case you have any questions, you can reach out to us. Um, I've provided the support email ID in the description of this video. Let me know. Thank you so much.